I'll be happy when we drop off so we can do the issue. So will Reed. I saw his people off by his chopper, ready to go. He's probably impatient. Look, Colonel Prentice, I got us here as fast as I could. Yes, you did, Oscar. Tom Reed's just not a patient man. Uh, Colonel, I don't mean to be pushy on this one, but I do need to talk to you about my pay. I was told Coburn was handling that. Well, yes, sir, but since there were these changes, you see, extra passengers with extra gear and a longer flight plan. Tell you what, Oscar, take it up with Colonel Reed. He'll take care of you. It was clear someone wanted to talk to Sam. That's why they went to all the trouble of setting them up at Coburn's. That's why they tranked them and flew them back home. They needed him docile when they offloaded him at their private airstrip up in the Blue Ridge, because if they hadn't, he would have taken that place apart with his bare hands. He's awake. Fuel is it free, man. <laughs> Colonel Prentice, Major Robertson, we don't have time to chat. Our timetable says your men need to move. Everything's operational, Director Reed. We start deployment at 900 hours this morning. Good, keep things going on your end. I'm heading back to 3rd Echelon to prep things there. Oh, our people would be just fine. Never had any doubts. Now, gentlemen, if you'll excuse us, I need a minute with Miss Grimm's daughter here. There's a loose end that needs tying off. Of course, Major. Right. Fisher's all yours, Anna. You packaged him for us in Malta, you get to unwrap him here. Find out what he knows about the EMPs, how he knows it, and why he's been hunting our friend Mr. Coben. Might take a while, Tom. He's been trained to resist interrogation. I'm authorizing you to use whatever persuaders you need, chemical or otherwise. Get the answers. And dispose of them. Just don't be as messy this time. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Anything else? Just, Just get, get to, to it. it. And call me when you have something. I'll be at HQ. Listen to me. I'm working for President Caldwell as a mole inside third echelon. Reed's the new director, and he's working hand-in-hand -hand with our hosts here. A PMC called Black Arrow. They're running a pipeline for stolen Russian EMP tech through Malta. And Reed's stonewalling any kind of investigation into it. Reed's stonewalling the president. He's got serious political coverage from somewhere. And the president isn't getting anywhere through channels. We know they're in the final stages of prep for something very ugly. But what we don't know is what it is or where it's going down. Really? Then again, you seem more interested in field work these days. Stop it. I need you to do this. The second I make a move, my cover is blown. But you're on the outside now. You are free to act. I don't do this sort of thing anymore. Tell that to the men you killed in Malta. Now, if you don't make it look like you escaped and attacked me, I'm dead. So make it look good, Sam. Hit me. Do what you have to do. Grim, let me remind you I'm out of the game. You're not out. All it took was one hint about her. Only one hint about Sarah, and you dove right back in. What do you know about her? I know she's alive. How's that for starters? You're lying. She's dead. Lambert told me she was dead, and I take his word over you. She's alive, Sam, and I know where she is. I've known all along. You're lying. Why should I believe you? Because my people have her. If you help me, you get to see her again. If you don't, it's out of my hands. Do not lie to me about this. I'll kill you. You understand me? I will kill you! Sam, I've been lying to you about this for years. Okay. 
I... Okay, that'll do. Good work. Shut up. Here. My car is just outside their security gate. It's a red T-208. I disabled the GPS locator chip so Third Echelon's birds can't find it. And take this snake cam. It's linked with this phone. The signal's encrypted. In case you get lonely. So I can set up a call with Sarah to prove to you that she's alive and unharmed. Now we need to get you out of here without them coming after you. C4 should help with that. There's some right outside. Get it and call me back. I don't get the gun. Just point it at the right people. Oh, I will. And now that the six minutes of cutscene is done, <laughs> uh, just move on out. We have our snake cam now, as I said in the previous mission. And over here, you can uh, melee him, take him as a human shield, as they are telling you to. Um, and it will just give you your mark and execute. You can mark these two guys and kill them. Uh, the meat shield just makes it better. And then you throw him into a crate. Uh, walk over here, uh, push A over here, you pick up your C4. And then you get your imp grenades again. And uh, just walk up here. Apparently I only got one imp grenade. Weird. Why, can you, why do I keep saying imp? I guess it's better than, easier than EMP. Anyways, through this door you can see there's a single guy facing the other way. Walk in, melee, boom! And you gotta mark and execute. Mark and executes are so much fun. <laughs> okay, so we go over here and there's a guy down there. And we play Death From Above. Um, yeah. Moving on up. Excellent pole action once again by me as I go up too far. Actually, I'm trying to decide what I'm doing here. Right, okay, I go over here. These are sort of kind of random, but yeah. Anyways, there's a bunch of things you can knock off the roof here, uh, but they're, they make noise so and le reveal your location. This place, just peg this guy in the head. He's out of the way. He'll never be seen. Uh, keep on moving here. Uh, you're supposed to move down there. Uh, this is like my first actual run of doing this part again, so I'm being kind of cautious. Uh, the other missions, uh, that previous mission I have done a couple of times in that exact path, trying to do other PEC challenges. So uh, yeah, I knew that level pretty well. That was the level I did most of my PEC challenges on. Anyways, if you actually go up here, you can find this nifty little hole in the roof here, and you can peg a guy in the head from here. Um, and where is he? He's down there, I know it. Are they gonna let me... Where is he? I guess he's not in there. Uh, yeah, just go over here and you can get a good vantage point. You can actually go down low if you want. Um, so... So I mark all four of those guys. I have a little fun here and I actually mark that thing. Or I just shoot that thing because I couldn't mark it. And I just take out the other two guys. Now, there is still one guy alive right below me. Uh, you can see his shadow there, and there he is. That's the one guy I was looking for that was below me uh, earlier. And I fail at shooting, apparently. I really fail at shooting. At least I killed him without getting too much shooting in body. Anyways, just go over here and uh, plant the C4, and we can move out now. Grim, I've taken care of the chopper. Now I need to take down the field's electrical grid. Good call. Black Arrow jury rigged the hell out of the original system when they converted the airfield from civilian use. So it's vulnerable. The power relays are probably the weakest point. Where do I find them? One of the barracks had one put in, exposed inside the building. And that's my best bet. 